morning everyone we are on the road again and you know something we rarely show you all sort of the behind the scenes of what happens when we're not out adventuring and stuff like that well we're not going to show you this time but i'll tell you we did spend about four or five days at this this beautiful i guess it was hotels or cabanas but anyway maria was beautiful the place was super relaxed and tranquilo the cats loved it there was 18 cats around there we got a lot of work done we had a little bout with the stomach something or another but anyway all that said sorry we didn't show that to you guys but we are on the road again we are headed up through some more beautiful mountains my ears are popping right now as we come up through this valley but we're headed to sort of a cool place and this is going to be a place that's very popular for their agua termales. And All right, we're halfway to the hot springs town and we're climbing in these mountains and the van has lost power. It is uh, barely wanting to go. We're driving in first and second gear right now, trying to kind of figure out what's going on. Um, we have the hazards on. Luckily, it is a four lane road through here and there is a big bike path next to us if we need to pull over there. But uh, the van is acting up, guys. We just got to kind of thinking about the altitude. We've been warned that some of these mountain passes get pretty high and that the diesels can struggle with power a little bit. So I pulled up my app that shows us the elevation and we're currently at 11,200 feet. So we feel like that's probably what's going on with the van. We're gonna just leave the hazard lights on while we're going slow and work through it. There just doesn't have enough yeah. second. I get up and put her right here. We just passed a side that said bear crossings and deer crossings. Wouldn't it be cool to see a bear up here? It would be really cool. 12,500 feet, guys. And still kicking. We just passed another animal sign and it had deer, bears, and tapirs. Now if you guys will remember we have been looking for tapirs since Costa Rica and have yet to find one. But they are nocturnal so the chances of seeing one right now they're not so good. But it's still exciting to see that they're here. See a switchback up there. We still have Ooh. we still have a long way oh, to go. Oh, we gotta go up. high if we're going up that switchback. Yeah, we're still maybe we don't go up there because that's gonna be really high. I think so. Ooh, guys, this is definitely gonna show us how our van's gonna deal with altitude. And as we head south towards Peru and Bolivia, there are some roads where we get up into the 13th. Yeah, we're, if our van will do it. Yeah, we're only able to do about 25, 30 miles an hour, second gear max, and uh, we just don't have the power, guys. We just don't have the power. Well, guys, we definitely took the switch back. At any minute, we're gonna cross over the 
13,000 feet any second. The van's still kicking. The highest point, we've got to go down to first gear, though. Oh. Yeah. The highest point we've ever been in the van. There it is, right there. 13,000 feet, guys, and I think we still got to climb. we get on one of these roads that scares us or gives us a hard time it's beautiful this is no exception our downhill is over and we are climbing again and it's raining <laughs> I think I can I think I can <laughs> I'm giving our van <laughs> some encouragement <laughs> this is part of the this still climbing guys still climbing 13,349, make that 50 feet above sea level. First gear, 18 miles an hour, 4,063 meters. Uh, they just had a sign, so maybe, maybe we're downhill. Maybe that's as high as we got right there, Kurt. Maybe that was it. Because that's the first uh, elevation sign I've seen. How about you? First one I've seen, and we're going downhill. There's another sign. Tapirs and bears. Ho, 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 ho. There we go. Downhill we go, guys. Whew. Well, we know the VN will do 13,500 feet. We know that. It wasn't easy, but we seem to be on the right side of history now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's keep heading to our real Axie Hot Springs destination, Kurt. That was we enough drama. It this morning. Woo! We did our work, guys. Alright, we are for sure going down and going down quick. So I do think that was our highest point. But what we learned is that the van will definitely get to 13,500 feet. Once we broke about 13,100 or 200 feet, we had to do it in first gear, right, Kurt? Yeah, and the steeper climbs, we definitely had to get down in first gear. Up until that point, we were able to do even kind of the steeper climbs in second gear, around 20 to 25 miles an hour. We were down to about 15. I don't know what the limit of elevation is, but as I said earlier, I think we got some more points along the way in our journey somewhere where we're going to have to test it again. So it's good to know she'll do it, at least to that high. All right. Enough of that. One of my favorite parts of this whole entire journey is the drive. And a lot of times, even though we research a little bit, we don't know what to expect. We certainly didn't expect to come uh, over a 13,500 foot elevation. But this little valley through here, the Andes Mountains, where the higher elevations to the trees are different, the topography is different. And nonetheless, as you come into some of these valleys, it's just absolutely stunning. But I believe we're turning, pulling into the town of Papayakta. And this is the town where the hot springs, the, the river, the Agua Termales, comes down from the mountains down into this city. So this should be pretty interesting, guys. All right, so we made it to the hot springs. We didn't have lunch, but once we got parked and everything, we gotta go in and gotta try this right place now. out. Now, one thing I'm gonna tell you, I think, what are we at, about 10,000 feet elevation. A little higher. But it's 50 degrees, <gasps> so it's kind of chilly, so. It's good hot springs weather. And for those of you who are new to the channel, you probably already know that we love chasing birds and monkeys and animals and wildlife and the nature. But another thing we love to chase is hot springs. So here we go. But we just saw right here on this sign, there's also some trails. So let me go up here and see what's going on with the trails. So up here, there's some information. It looks like the trails for one hour. Ooh, there's the trails. Looks like I'm hooked up. 
So look, they got trails right here. Yeah. And they got how long? One hour, three hours, two to three, five to six, eight hours. I can get me a hike tomorrow and yeah. then soak after the hike. Absolutely. It looks close. It's still early and it's Thursday. Yeah. They have some real cool rock faces up there. So I bet the trail goes up into these forests. They see some cows there. And then there's a chapel there. I like those flowers. All right, here's the ticket office. So it's $9 a piece to go in. So it looks pretty clean and nice, guys. No weapons allowed. Turns out we get free return entry so we can go out to the van and come back. And this is right here at the entrance. Look at this, guys. So pretty. I'm definitely doing a hike, Snow. All right. We have settled into a pool. The water is nice and warm, but not too hot. Kurt has found himself a king's chair. And we even managed to find a little bit of shade because we are basically on the equator at almost 11,000 feet. <laughs> Think shade's important. All right, so first things first, they have three basic dining options. The economic for $9, the regular menu for 11, and then the big daddy for $14. Now it looks like you get your choice of two proteins. They either have trucha, chicken, or beef, and two side dish options, and then a beverage. So that would be the basic one. And then the main menu would be include the soup, and then the Big Daddy includes the dessert. But Snow's gonna go a different direction. Gonna get some empanadas. Just don't know which ones yet. And a limonada. And then I'm gonna steal a little bit of Kurt's food. All right, so the first surprise is what the drink of the day was. And today I get watermelon juice, so. And they just brought us a little like rolls. I know, it's been a long time since we had bread brought to us. 
Watermelon juice. Watermelon juice. Good. Look at these little rolls, guys. That is unusual down here. They brought out this little salsa right here. And Snow actually said I had to try it on these little poof ball bread things. So here it goes. A lot of onions and a lot of peppers. Spicy. I think it's for the trout. I don't think it's for the okay. rolls. So my empanadas. We were a little bit curious. So you know, they had a description, and I didn't know if they were describing what was inside of them or what they were made of. Now, I thought it was what they were made of. Kurt thought it was what's inside of them. But they showed up like this. So the two white ones are made with a local white corn, and the dark ones are plantain. They're really good. These plantain ones, I'm going to have to let Kurt try it. What do they have inside good. them? I haven't got to it yet, so I don't know. Okay, so. <laughs> Empanadas, and then I got the potato soup. So I've yet to try that, but I'm about to dig in. First glance, there's some potatoes, and that looks like a little chunk of queso and maybe some dill right there. You can taste like the little bits of potato in there with the broth, it's perfect. So the thickness is actually potato, and it's real potatoes, so it's just so good. I love potatoes. All right, she's got the other one. This one's good too. I think this one might have something else inside of it. I'll know on the next bite. It's like a crunchy corn, almost like a like a corn dog almost, kind of outside. Yeah, but not... Not as thick and cakey. It's like a... I'll think of it in a minute. Mm. Mm. There's some carne in this one. And it's like cast iron skillet cornbread. Mm. Look at the size of this giant platter they bought brought out. So I got the trucha, which is a filet, and then chicken. They also have papas, rice, and lentils here. And then this sauce right here is a trucha sauce to go over top of it. So, wow, this is a lot of food. I just had some of the trout, which was delicious, cooked perfectly, and this salsa is really good on there. Not so good on a roll, but great on the trout. I haven't tried the chicken yet, but the lentils and rice are cooked perfectly, and they have a nice season. And this has got just a little bit of heat, and I like mixing it in there as well. And the papas are crisp and tasty. So. Snow's like, oh, we should take some back to the van. And I'm just like, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I would say Kurt cleaned the plate pretty good. Homie don't play. <laughs> Time to head back out, find another hot soaking pool, relax. Let's go, guys. All right, guys, Kurt is done with his walk, checking everything out around here. We have put our wet bathing suits back on, and they are super cold. The sun has almost gone down, and it's chilly, isn't it, Kurt? It is. But we are headed to some hot water, so it will be okay. Mm -hmm. All right, we made it back to the hot springs right before the sun went down. And one of my favorite things about a hot springs, when the outside air temperature is getting cooler like it is now, is all the steam coming off the water. I don't know why, but I just really like that. What do you think, Kurt? This place is awesome. I'm not leaving. All right. I'm not leaving. This is where we retire from van life and live at a hot springs forever. <laughs> you know what time it is? Cold pool time. Oh, they're getting in too. Huh? Frio? <laughs> wow. Ooh. 
<laughs> oh, wow. Cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really cold. Oh, you're cold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try the cold weather. I don't know if I'm gonna get past my ankles, but I'm gonna go try it. I told Kurt I'd try it. That's like colder than a Florida spring. No, he's, Kurt is yelling at me that I have to stay in it and he's out of his mind. So back to the warm water. Back where I belong. We've made it back to the van. We are super relaxed. Kurt whipped up some stroganoff. We'll be hitting the bed soon because in the morning, what are we doing here, Kurt? We got a hike, and Snow's gonna try to go. We'll see what it looks like and how far it is. But yeah, we got a hike tomorrow, and then probably hot tub after that. Yeah. So it's a rough day. It's terrible. <laughs> and the stroganoff is yummy. So we'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys. And so the hike begins. Now, a couple things I'll tell you is I asked yesterday, they don't have trail maps. They say all the trails are pretty well marked. It's all part of kind of this resort here. And so we'll see what it's like. I looked online for trail maps. It looks like there's an hour hike, a two to three hour hike, and then an eight hour hike. Uh, so I guess we're gonna see what this looks like. But right off the bat, we start going up. I think Snow already told you we're at an elevation of about 10,000 feet. So the key to this trail is going to be to take it nice and easy. In fact, about snow. When we were little, my grandpa owned a farm and it included a dairy. And my grandpa was from the old school and believed in work big time. And we all, all the grandkids, we get our first jobs, jobs around five or six years old and on the weekends we would go out to the dairy with my grandpa and he would leave us with whoever was in charge of the baby calves and we would feed them with big giant milk bottles that were probably half as big as us but it's one of my first childhood memories feeding baby dairy cows at my grandpa's dairy 
The rest of the jobs after that weren't as glamorous. <laughs> but a little fun fact about snow. We're here. We're here. This is the road we've been walking on. And we're about to turn off on this little trail. And I don't think there's any need for us to go right right there. Looks like that's to more cows. We'll go straight. To the island. There yeah, is an there island is an here. Island. So there's a river crossing. And then there's an island in the middle of where the river split. We'll have to see how far I make it. So it looks like it's a big loop. So if you go the whole way, you kind of loop around up top there. Yeah, by the river. All right. We'll see how far we get. But we're at the gate. We're off the road. So yeah, this yeah. is not the same hike <laughs> as we thought. Now. These trees, I don't think they're edible, but I don't know. Snow, why don't you try one? <laughs> <laughs> that's a joke guys that's a joke but you can see the valley below us there the little organic farm it's a little cobblestone stepway so far so pretty unique little trail all right she's off into the thick of the jungle Look at this thing, guys. My walking stick works as a spider web, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can definitely hear the river. Hopefully I can make it far enough to get to see the river. I bet we're getting close to 11,000 feet. We'll check in a minute. Look, there's some pretty yellow trees out there. You can see the valley kind of where the river runs through there. It's all lush with full of plants. We're coming right down here through the middle of the pastures. The mountains are looking really cool. All right, snow's made it to 11,016 feet. There's already talk that this might be our highest <laughs> elevation. Only because we're about to go down into the valley. So there it is, over 11,000 <laughs> feet. My breathing's doing all right. I'm actually surprised. Hmm. All right, so I think this little colorful area, green area down the hill here is what they call the island. And I believe we're gonna get up here and see the river split and maybe a bridge. But we just passed some people coming the other way and they said we've made it through the hardest part, which means Kurt's not gonna get a grueling hike today up those mountains. But the good news is that means there's a possibility that snow is going to complete the hike. We'll see. Well, I'm at least going to make it to the island. We'll see what happens from there. I have to remember that I have to get back. And there's going to be a climb to get back out. So, but we're going for it. Look at these things, guys. They're all like pointy, like little needles. Yeah, they're uh, flowers. And then there's some berries behind them too. I don't know if they're seeds, but what a cool tree. Wow. wow, cool. We've got our first river crossing and it looks like a really nice bridge. Unfortunately, snow doesn't get the benefit of going across a rickety bridge like some of the crazy stuff I've crossed. But what a beautiful river. Look at this. Wow, gorgeous. Rising sun hits the sky, see it open before us. Take these hopes, hold them high, every step takes you closer.
from what's been our highest point so far. And we've crossed the bridge, and like Kurt just said, we're on the island. We expect to see the lake any minute. Pretty high, guys. Maybe half past two. A little drunk, but I'm alright. Cause I've been hanging with you, and it feels like love. Tell me if I'm wrong, cause it feels like love. Yeah, it feels like love. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh. I want you here with me. Am I out of my mind? Or is this how it should be? You made me sing about love. So just tell me if I'm wrong. But it feels like love. Yeah, it feels like love. Yeah! Don't know what you do, but you make me feel fine. Alright guys, I made a little broccoli soup, 
for lunch. It's a little chilly outside, so we needed to take the chill off. But I just have to say that this place has been absolutely amazing. I love that hike that Snow and I were able to go on. It was nice and wandering right around the river. But I think what was better, it was very nicely maintained. It was a fairly easy trail, but it did have some challenging parts. But it was a long walk through the nature, and I know Snow enjoyed it, and so did I. And the good thing is, is now we get to go back into these hot springs, back into these hot pools. And we get to just chill out and relax. But by now, we've already showed you guys this place. So, y'all don't get to see any more of it. We're gonna see you in a few days. This is where we turn the cameras off, guys. <laughs> Cheers. Later. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys.